In this video I'll explain how to remove the last n elements of a vector using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In the video I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the vector object that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing which is called vec. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new vector which contains 10 elements ranging from the letter A to the letter J. Now let's assume that we want to remove the very last element from our vector, so in this case the letter J. And then we can apply the head function as you can see in line 5 of the code. And within the head function we need to specify the name of our vector object, so in this case our vector object is called vec. Then we need to specify a comma and then after the comma we need to specify a minus sign and the number of elements that we want to remove at the end of our vector. So in this case we only want to remove the very last element of our vector and for that reason we are specifying the value 1. So if you run line 5 of the code you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have returned another vector object and this time we have removed the very last element from our input vector. So let's assume that we want to remove the last n elements from our vector, or in this example, the last five elements from our vector. Then again, we can apply the head function, as you can see in line seven of the code. And within the head function, we simply need to increase the number at the end of the head function to specify the number of elements that we want to remove. So in this case, we want to remove the last five elements. So if you run line 7 of the code, you can see that another vector output is created at the bottom in the RStudio console. And as you can see, this time we have removed the last five elements from our vector. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.